Your Eminence, Archbishop Demetrius, respected hierarchs and clergy, Father Nicholas, Dr. Lelon, distinguished guests and beloved graduates, Christos Anesti. It is indeed a great honor for me to address you today, and most especially to participate in the well-deserved honor bestowed upon our most beloved and dedicated Father Nip. The relationship of Leadership 100 to Helena College Holy Cross can now be classified as historic. For more than two decades, we have been intimately involved with the development of this special institution, from early support of the Archbishop Yakovos Library and Learning Resource Center, through funding of the Office of Vocation and Ministry, the Technology Infrastructure and the Fitness Center, and through the scholarship program for students studying for the priesthood. I am thankful that in some small way, Leadership 100 was able to assist you for providing scholarship funding for your education. As you begin to prepare a new chapter in your lives and to respond to the high calling of the Holy Priesthood, I am reminded of the new beginnings each of us faces in life. Leaving the comfort of our home for our first day of school, leaving behind friends and changing schools, moving from the familiarity of one community for another, forging new friendships, being enriched by our teachers and mentors, only to move on to new challenges, being adrift with the loss of loved ones, until we find balance in new and fulfilling relationships. These transitions are central to the human experience, and without a compass of faith and values, they can disorient us and sometimes misdirect us. Yet through our spiritual encounters with our priests, our beloved church gives us that compass to guide us on this path. The holy priesthood instituted by our Lord and charging his disciples to go out into the world guided by the Holy Spirit is the highest and most profound calling known to humanity. The holy priesthood is what gives us direction and holds us together as a family of faith. Without our connection to the holy priesthood, Leadership 100 would be simply another charitable organization. Without connection to the Holy Priesthood, our families could be ethical and loving, but they would lack the continuity of purpose and meaning. Without connection to the Holy Priesthood, our venerable and ancient Hellenic heritage would impart wisdom, learning, and creativity, but would lack spiritual nourishment. We, the faithful, often speak of our support of the Church, the Holy Priesthood, and of our spiritual leaders. But in reality, it is the Church, the Holy Priesthood, and those spiritual leaders that sustain and support us and set us in the right direction in our spiritual journey. Fundamentally, it begins and ends with the Holy Priesthood. But this is where our Lord has chosen to manifest Himself for our comfort and our guidance. In closing, I would like to reassure you that Leadership 100 is honored to provide support for you, the future leaders of our Church. We thank God for you and pray for your continued success and your worthy endeavors. Congratulations, graduates. Chairman of the Corporation, the Board of Trustees of Hellenic College, Holy Cross Greek Orthodox School of Theology, I do hereby confer upon the Reverend Nicholas C. Pianofilo, Proto Presbyter of the Ecumenical Patriarchate, the honorary degree of Doctor of Theology, Axios.
Hristos Anesti. Eminence, Archbishop Demetrius, esteemed Metropolitan of the Park Hill Synod, all bishops and clergy, Honorable Council, Greece, Mrs. Iphenia Panara, Dr. Thomas Leland, Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees and all trustees, Ms. Logos, S. and President of Rothergos, George Antigos, Chairman of Leadership 100, Ms. Jenny Angelis, Rothergos, Chairman of San Francisco, Metropolis, Deans, Faculty, Administrators, Staff, all members of the dais, families, friends, and the wonderful class of 2015. It is humbling for me to receive an honorary degree from a school I too attended. I hope you noticed that back then things were different accreditation wise. I had a year and a half at Northeastern University. They accepted no credits here at Holy Cross at that time. I went 70 years along with my classmates that are here with me, Alec Mustalak, and Father, and some of you, we have lost the great kingdom beyond half of our class already. But after seven years, you only got a BA degree. But we were looking for priesthood at that time and not degrees. But it is humbling for me to receive this degree where I attended and where I exercised ministry. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wear this hood on behalf of all my classmates and all graduates of Hellenic College and Holy Cross. We are one brotherhood. We are one body of men and women who have graduated from our beloved HCHC. We are dedicated to serving our one true and apostolic faith under our hierarchs, bring us apostolic succession, and proclaim the teaching of Jesus Christ. We are dedicated to serve as committed laity, ordained deacons and priests, and some to the high charge of consecrated hierarchs. It has been a privilege and an honor to be the preliminary activity this afternoon for the real reason we are here. Graduation of the classes of 2015 and 2016. Two classes, 2015. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit, but apart from me you can do nothing. In 2004, Mary Law, a former graduate of HCHC, wrote in the challenge section of the Orthodox Observer an article entitled, Being Part of Jesus Christ's Family. I should have said Mary Law, a Texan. Forgot that. <laughs> she stated, when we worship in the divine liturgy, we are worshiping with all other members of our Christian family. It is like having a big family reunion every time we go into church. And not only do we join all of Christ's earthly family when we worship, we also join the heavenly hosts, archangels, Angels, cherubim, seraphim. Think about it. It is incredible that when, when we are celebrating the divine liturgy, 
We are in the embrace of the entire church. Each one of you graduating today knows that your commission is from Christ himself to look out for the interests of others. Every discipline here in the college, Helena College, and of course in the School of Theology, is directed to prepare you to become leaders for constant improvement of God's society. Each of us must be mindful of the catalytic influence even one person can have on an entire community. The church fathers taught through their writings and through their lifestyle. So too, you now go out and teach, and some of you will write. People look to you, our emerging leaders, for relief, understanding, comfort, and consolation, as well as for direction and education. Continue this wholesome pattern throughout your lives. Be bold, be prudent, but be pleasant. If we are steadfast in our commitment and untiring in our effort, we can make a difference. Each of you can make a difference. I know that you will contribute to the growth of our supporting organizations, such as Philoplogos, Leadership 100, that's right, and others whose financial aid is immensely significant. The mission of these organizations is to dedicate their resources to the feeding the Lord's sheep, so we are indebted to them. In closing, I am reminded by one of the profound and loving words of His Eminence, Chairman of our Board of Trustees, Archbishop Demetrius. What we have as Orthodox Christians is not to be owned, but to be shared. Share the wealth. Christos Anastas.